subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Bottlenose Dolphin. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy Hero. Look at all these fishes. That one over there is a goldfish. I'll try to catch it. Don't worry, Hero. I'll put it back later. There, I got it. So this is a goldfish. It's a very popular fish to keep as a pet. Okay, Hero, I'll put the goldfish back in the water now. Here goes. Whoa! It's a baby dolphin. It just ate the goldfish. I wonder how the dolphin got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now look here, baby dolphin. Hi, Katie. What did you find? Hi, Leo. Almost there. This dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. A bottlenose dolphin? Yes, a bottlenose. There are many types of dolphins, but the bottlenose dolphin is the best known. These dolphins can be found in warm and temperate seas worldwide. Dolphins have large brains and they are very intelligent. I see. By the way, this baby dolphin ate a goldfish from our pond. Hmm. Normally dolphins eat small fish and other small sea creatures, but this dolphin is still very young, so it might still need milk from its mother. Dolphins stay with their mothers for several years. Hmm, I guess it must be hungry then. We should bring it home back to its mother. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the seashore, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a young bottlenose dolphin. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring it back to its mother. That's great, Leo. You know dolphins are amazing swimmers, especially when they are adults. And some dolphins have been known to jump more than six meters in the air. Wow, that's amazing. But that's not all. Dolphins can also hear very well underwater. They explore their environment and look for food using something called echolocation. When a dolphin makes a clicking sound, the sound travels underwater. If the sound bounces off other objects, it will create an echo and return to the dolphin. Wow! That's really smart of them! Each dolphin also has its own special whistle it makes when it's lost or when it's trying to find other dolphins. So if you want to find the dolphin's mother, you might want to listen for clicking sounds and whistles. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. I think we may be able to find the dolphin's mother here. <laughs> you must be excited to see the ocean again. Oh, look, a boat. Look, I think Baby Dolphin wants to play with the waves created by the boat. Correct. That's because bottlenose dolphins like to surf and ride on waves produced by boats or big animals. Be careful, Junior Rangers. There might be fishing boats that come out to sea to hunt for dolphins. Oh no! It looks like the boat is really going after the dolphin. The baby dolphin isn't fast enough to escape. We need to save her. Watch out! The fishing boat has a weapon. They're aiming at you, dolphin. Ah. 
Whoops! Careful, Dolphin! You almost got hit! Ranger Rocky! That was close! Children, hurry and escape with the Dolphin while I confront the fishing boat! Thank you, Ranger Rocky! Let's hurry and find the Dolphin's mother where it can be safe! found the baby dolphin's mother! Hooray! Yay! found a baby dolphin in our pond today. We learned that the dolphin is a bottlenose dolphin. So we went to the sea and found its mother so it can be safe again. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The smooth-coated otter. Hero! Over here, buddy! Hi, everybody! My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to play a game, Hero? <laughs> Great! Let's see who can jump the highest on this trampoline. I'll show you. All you have to do is jump as high as you can, like this. Ta-da! Now it's your turn, Hero. <laughs> Very good, Hero! Woohoo! Wah! Hey, I think it's a baby otter! I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the adder as we speak. There you go. This little one is a smooth-coated adder. So, it has a smooth coat? Yes, that's exactly how it gets its name. A smooth-coated otter is a type of otter that has shorter and smoother fur. They also have a rounder head and a hairless nose that looks quite like the shape of a diamond. Where do they come from? Smooth-coated otters live in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. Cool! I wonder what kind of food it eats. Smooth-coated otters usually eat plenty of fish. But it's an omnivore, which means it can eat different types of plants and small animals, too. Hmm, I'm afraid it won't find all that food here. We should bring it back to its family. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby adder would love that. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Oh, I see you've brought along a male baby otter. It's, it's a, a he? he? Most definitely. Male smooth-coated otters tend to be larger in size than females. This one seems just the size. We're here to return him to his family. Do you know where we should look, Ranger Rocky? Smooth-coated otters are usually found in places with lots of fresh water. You could start there. Hmm. So that means 
We have to look for rivers or lakes. That's right. It seems they mostly prefer river stretches, with lots of greenery to build their homes. Why is that, Ranger Rocky? The grass and plants provide cover from other animals and shelter the otters from the sun's heat when they look for food. Remember that smooth-coated otters try to stay away from sandy and open areas because it makes them easy targets for other animals. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Hmm. It looks like the only way to get to that river is to cross this one. No problem. Come on, everyone. Thanks, Leo. Now we can get to the other side in no time. That's right, little guy. We're going to find your family very soon. Look. We're getting closer. What's the matter, hero? Oh no, the little guy's in danger. We have to save it from those crocodiles. Katie, take the wheel. I got you two. <laughs> They're still chasing us. We'll have to go faster. Leave it to me. <laughs> Watch out for those rocks, Katie. We made it. Looks like they won't be chasing us anymore. Excellent. We did it! We found the baby otter's family! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Yay! Today, we found a baby smooth-coated otter in our garden! We learned that the smooth-coated otter lives in places with lots of fresh water and greenery. So we went to a river by the forest and found its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Atlantic Puffin. everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero, this is a remote controlled car. I can make the car move using this controller. I can make the car go round in circles. I can make the car drive in a figure eight. I can make the car drive really far away and I can make it drive back again. It's a bird. Where did you come from? I've never seen a bird like this before. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Yes, I did, Leo. The bird you found is an Atlantic puffin. Atlantic puffins can be recognized by their colorful beaks. Like most birds, Atlantic puffins can fly, but they can also swim underwater using their wings and webbed feet. The Atlantic puffin is a fast swimmer and can stay underwater for up to a minute. The Atlantic puffin mostly eats small fish such as herring and sand eels. Atlantic puffins can catch several small fish in one dive. They use their tongue to hold fish in their mouth, so they leave their beaks free to catch even more fish. That's amazing! 
I've never seen such a bird before. Where does it come from? Atlantic puffins come from far up north. They live on sea coasts and islands around the Atlantic Ocean. More than half of the world's Atlantic puffins are found around Iceland. About eight to ten million puffins live there. That's a lot of puffins. So our puffin is a really long way from Iceland, and it's too hot for it to stay here. We should bring it back home. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to Iceland, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought an Atlantic puffin. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to take it back to its home. That's great, Katie. Atlantic puffins spend most of their lives out at sea, but during spring and summer, the puffins return to land to breed. So that's when they look for a partner, and the females lay eggs. Pairs of Atlantic puffins often become partners for life. They return to the same nest year after year. This Atlantic puffin must have gotten lost while trying to get back to its nest. So where can we find its nest? Atlantic puffins like to build their nests high up on cliffs. Some of them even nest in rabbit holes. Many puffins choose to build their nests in old rabbit holes. Unfortunately, some puffins have been known to chase rabbits out of their holes. But in some cases, puffins and rabbits can live side by side. So we should look for some cliffs or rabbit holes. That's right. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Well, here we are. I don't see any puffin nests around here. Maybe we can find some below the cliff. Let me take a closer look. Whoa! Leo! Leo! Um, I could use some help, Katie. I can't reach you, Leo. Let me get a rope. Hang on. Oh, no! There's no rope in the Jeep. Leo! I can't find a rope. I have rope in my backpack, remember? Can you throw one end of the rope? I, I don't think so, Katie. One wrong move and I'll fall. Oh no, what can we do now? <coughs> oh, hi, Puffin. Thank you, Puffin. Now we can pull Leo up. Why don't you use the Jeep? That's much huh? easier. Great. Katie already had the same idea. Ranger Rocky. You should be more careful, Junior Ranger. Cliff edges can be unstable or very slippery, so stay away from them. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of me. Well, at least you're safe now, Leo. Yeah. Look, it's the puffin's partner. We did it. We found the puffin's nest. Great work, everyone. Hooray! We found an Atlantic puffin in our garden. We learned that Atlantic puffins return to the same nest every year to breed. So we went to Iceland to help the puffin find its nest. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. <laughs>